Hi everyone, welcome to today's booty and thigh session. That's my first weight workout on this channel. I'm going to use a 10 kilogram weight as a help and you also need a towel. If you don't have a weight, that's perfectly fine. You can either do the entire workout without a weight, that also works, or you take a bag and you put your entire kitchen in here. Take bags of rice, oats, flour, anything that's dense and heavy and small works perfectly. That's for example one kilogram of flour. So if you put six or eight of them into one bag, you instantly have a six or eight kilogram weight. I'm gonna use my dumbbell though. <laughs> Um, the, the workout is structured in a way that we have a booty activation first and then we're gonna stand up and do circuit training so we do have very small breaks in between and then we are going to go down on the floor again for some very concentrated booty work. That's it. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Let's go. I'm ready, that is. We are going to start with straight leg kickbacks, focusing on the booty, squeezing it on the way up, and then holding the tension every time you lower it. Do it as slow and controlled as possible, and think about your right butt cheek. Moving over into donkey kick pulses and now increasing the tension in the butt cheek even more because we only do very tiny pulses at the top and never lose the tension. Very good, five more seconds to go and then we switch the legs. We do the same thing on the other side. We start with straight leg kickbacks. Try to use the strength of your butt cheek to lift your leg up and down. And then hold the tension even though you lower the leg. So I'm always squeezing it as hard as possible. 10 more seconds to go. Three, two, one, and we go into donkey kick pulses. Dennis, I'm afraid to breathe because I feel like you can hear it in the microphone. <laughs> we have a new microphone, so it's very close to my mouth. 10 more seconds to go, squeeze the booty. Four, three, two, one. Lay down on your belly and we're going to go into booty lifts. Do them very slow and controlled. Lift your legs up and down, squeezing the butt cheeks the entire time. That's the last exercise of our glute activation in the beginning. Lift the legs as high as possible. Always a tiny bit higher, squeezing the butt cheeks. Very good. 30 seconds of break or getting ready for the actual workout. Take your weight and the first exercises are going to focus on squats. So we do have a lot of thigh work and also booty work. We are going to start in a normal position. So feet are shoulder wide apart, a little bit wider. You are going to take your weight or your back, or your back in front of your chest. And now we're going to squat down, pushing back up through the heel. Make sure you sit back and don't lean to the front a lot. The weight is always on the heels and then you push up through your heels, squeezing the booty as hard as possible. So we're good. Fifteen more seconds to go. And the great thing about that workout is, take your weight, and if it starts to get 
too heavy, just drop the weight and continue without it. Now stay low and for 15 seconds we are going to do tiny pulses to really make it burn. Four, three, two, one. Drop your weight and 30 seconds of jump squats. Bringing up that heartbeat. Even for the jump squats, push through your heels. Squat down low. 10 more seconds to go. Don't quit. And five, four, three, two. Tiny break. Shake out your legs. I hope you don't get annoyed by my breathing. Next one is going to be a sumo squat. So your legs are wide apart, slightly pointing outwards. Five more seconds to go. Take your weight. Ben is laughing at me. <laughs> and you can also keep the weight down low. You don't have to hold it in front of your chest. You can also hold it down low. I like that one more for the sumo squat. Weight is on the heels, pushing your knees outwards every time you squat up. and we do sumo squat pulses. Three, two, one. Drop your weight, stay down low, and we do a squat hold with a side to side. So you squeeze your butt cheek on this side, moving to the right. Squeeze it on the right, moving to the left. Ten more seconds to go. Stay down low, don't go up. Okay, we shake it out. 30 seconds and then we go into a third round of squats. Enjoy your break. 50 more seconds and then we start with a narrow squat, so your feet are a little closer apart than before. Take your weight, put it in front of your chest, and we squat down for 45 seconds. Don't forget to keep the weight on your heel, pushing it back up with your booty, squeezing the booty at the top, back is straight, knees stay stable, don't collapse them inwards, always in one line. Pulses up and down. Three, two, one, and we drop the weight. You go into jump squats. Don't quit. I know the thighs are burning. Five, four, three, two, one. 
and we start with a stiff leg deadlift. I mean you lean forward and then you push back up through your heels. Meaning you push your hip to the front, squeezing the butt cheeks. The back always stay straight. Never round your back. Keep it as straight as possible. Hip moves backwards, weight stays on the heel, and then push your hip to the front. Drop your weight, put your hands next to your head, and then we do a good morning and a squat. Good morning and squat down low. Good morning. Back stays always straight and we squat down low. Meet me in a squat hold and we add an abductor movement, meaning the knees slightly go outwards and every time they go outwards, you squeeze your butt cheek on the side. Sit back as far as possible and sit down as far as possible. Take your break. I'm gonna explain it one more time for you. So you lean to the front, your hip goes backwards, you keep the tension in your hamstring and your butt, and then when you move up, you push your hip to the front. The neck always stays neutral, so you look down and you look to the front. Always in one line with the rest of your spine. Drop your weight, you do the same movement, but with the hands close to your head. And then when you squeeze your hip here, you squat down once before you do the good morning again and then you squat down again. Always squeezing the butt cheeks. Make it look so ugly. Squeeze them as hard as you can for the last couple of seconds. And now meet me in a squat hold with an abductor movement. For five, four, three, two, one. Come up again. We have a little burnout session for the end of the standing part of this workout. So we are going to start with stiff deadlifts. Then we're going to go into weighted squats, squat pulses, and then jump squats in the end. Every exercise for 30 seconds straight without any break in between. We start with the stiff deadlifts. Take the weight up in front of your chest and we go into 30 seconds of squats. Come 
down and we come into squat pulses. If it's getting too heavy, just drop the weight and do it as a body weight exercise. You can drop it and then continue pulsing like that. Four, three, two, one. And don't kill me, 30 seconds of jump squats. Halfway through, don't you quit now. 10 more seconds to go. Squat down low and take all you got and jump upwards. Next one is going to be down on the floor only with a glute focus. So meet me down on the mat, take your towel and put it on top of your hip as a little cushion to make it more comfortable. Take your dumbbell and place it on top of the towel. And we do glute bridges. Getting up, squeezing the butt cheeks as hard as possible and then lowering down very slow. Make sure you engage your glutes. The weight is on the heel. Nothing happening on the toes. And now we stay up and we do little glute bridge pulses. Only pulse at the very top of this movement. And even if it doesn't burn yet, I'll promise you it will start to burn in a couple of minutes because we're going to stay down here for six minutes. Stay up and we do a glute bridge hold. Only hold it at the highest point possible. Make sure that you don't put your hands to the side because you have to hold the weight to make sure it doesn't roll on your face, obviously. <laughs> but think about that. Don't do stupid decisions. Okay, we take a very small break. Put your weight to the side because we are starting with one leg glute bridges first. So only on one leg, only on one heel. Then we do the other side and then we take back the weight on our hip for some extra, um, for an extra challenge towards the end. Get ready. Extend one leg to the front and we push up through one heel only, squeezing the butt cheeks on the way up, holding the tension on the way down. And we switch sides, extend the other leg to the front and we repeat the same movement for the other butt cheek as well. Very good, three more seconds to go and then we take back the weight. Very carefully place it on top of your hip and as soon as you feel comfortable, we start with normal glute bridges, squeezing the booty cheeks every time you hit the upper point, holding the tension on the way down. There is no need for a high tempo, you can do it very slow and controlled. 
And we go into glute bridge pulses. Still keeping the weight on our hip. Do very tiny pulses at the top. Squeezing the booty cheeks for every pulse a tiny bit more. And now we're gonna stay up here in a glute bridge hold for 30 seconds. Hold it at the top, squeeze the booty cheeks as hard as you can. If you're lowering your hip, bring it back up and squeeze it a tiny bit more for five, four, three, two, one. And now we go into normal glute bridges one last time. Keep the tension that you just built in the glute bridge hold and use it for some more full range of motion glute bridges. The last couple of movements, give it all you got. Squeeze it as hard as possible for four, three, two, one. Drop the weight, lift up your hip as high as you can. Squeeze the butt cheeks together like you're trying to hold in a fart. <laughs> hold it as hard as you can. <laughs> Dennis is shaking his head. Not ladylike. Hold it at the highest point and then lift it up even higher. I want you to go higher as before. That's supposed to be the highest point of all of them. 30 more seconds to go. Hold it, squeeze it. And go a tiny bit higher. Don't relax. Squeeze it as hard as possible. Make it burn for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we release. That was everything. Whew. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to make your butt cheeks burn. Let me